Have a good day, everyone. E-Learning Hub is signing on once again to give you another insight. Today, I will show you how to stay connected with your virtual class on Google Meet even you are presenting your slides for your discussion. We all know that many of us are finding difficulty in staying connected with our students. But of course, when it comes to technology, the impossible can make it possible. What to expect on this video? You will learn how to enable multitasking on Windows 8 or 10. Second, to set up the browse by an individual or window in Microsoft PowerPoint to view a PowerPoint show without using full screen. Third, to see your students in Google Meet even you are having your slide presentation. Multitasking enables you to work faster with different projects. It will faster your workflow. Instead of opening again and again the different tabs in Windows 8 or 10, you have a better option to enable multitasking. If you are running Windows 8 or 10, first make sure the Snap Windows feature is enabled in the settings. Here is how you can enable multitasking on Windows settings. Access the settings by opening the Start menu and click the gear icon. Or it could be on Search box and Encode setting. Another trick if you pin it on your taskbar, you can click the icon gear. Alternatively, hold down the Windows key and press I on your keyboard. Those are the techniques on how to open your settings. Then go to System. And then click Multitasking. And then set to on your Snap Windows. And then check all the boxes here. That is how to enable your Windows Multitasking. Afterwards, open the Microsoft PowerPoint. Then, we have to set to the browse by an individual or window. So you could see this presented by the speaker full screen and then browse at kiosk full screen. Now you have to choose only the window. If you will slideshow, it will become like this. Another option, you go to the reading view. This is for the Microsoft PowerPoint. When it comes to WPS, it is different from the Microsoft PowerPoint. So this is my presentation in WPS. In the slideshow and setup show, you could notice that there is no browse by an individual. All are full screen. But of course, when it comes to technology, the impossible can make it possible. You can use the reading view. After setting all those things, let's move now to Google Meet. So I'm going to create a meeting 
and I will show you how to stay connected with your students even you are presenting your slides for your discussion. I will create a new meeting. This is the new Google Meet now. It has some features added. To resize your window, you could hold down the window key on your keyboard plus the arrow keys. If you want to put your window on the left side, then you have to hold down the window key plus the left arrow. And this is my window for the Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. Let's present. I will share it a window. Let's have now this slideshow presentation. So you are presenting at the same time you are connecting with your students. So you could see your students if they are still there or not. So this is for the Microsoft PowerPoint. How about if you are using WPS? Is it possible also to present just like this or not? Let's try now the WPS. In WPS, you could not resize the window. However, you could still present and connect with your students. Use the reading view to show your presentation then use the scroll wheel on your mouse for your slideshow to still see your students in Google Meet. And this is my presentation in WPS Office. On this slideshow, let's see on the setup show. You could notice that there is no window. All are full screen. However, I told you when it comes to technology, the impossible can make it possible. So you could use the reading view for your presentation. Then let's have now the share. I will share a window. Now, for the WPS, if you're going to resize, your screen will become black. So, therefore, it is not advisable to resize it for your presentation. So, this is a presentation made in WPS. To stay connected, you have to click. You could resize your window by dragging also. So this is the Google Meet and then this is my presentation. So if you're going to compare it to the Microsoft Office, this WPS is a little bit uh, complicated. Why? Because you're going to use the uh, scroll wheel on your mouse, this slideshow presentation.
that is how to present your presentation made in WPS. How about if you are going to present a video from YouTube? What will you do? So you could open another tab and share another window. So I have here two tabs. My tab for the Google Meet and then another tab for this one. Now, you could drag here. So, I have now two windows. We could drag just like this. Or, if you installed your dual less, you could apply this dual less. So, I will return. And then, we're going to use this one dual less so i will put here on this side my google meet okay let's share window Those are the tips and tricks on how to be stay connected with your students in Google Meet even you are presenting or sharing videos. To be updated with all the upcoming videos, click the subscribe button and don't forget to like and share. Thank you.